Uh, first, the what. I would like to probably quote you a statement from Dr. Robert Haney from Crichton University when asked that question, and he said that vitamin D is the enabler. We've all got bodies, we've all got DNA, and they need to do their job. But without vitamin D, they can't do it right. So it's that key to our whole system. And why is it important? It enables all the functions of our system from cell growth to death, and our whole immune system is dependent upon the proper levels of vitamin D. I had one of those annual checkups, and because of my young age, they actually said I needed a bone scan to check for osteoporosis. The doctor said, you've got it in spades, and I said, why? And she said, you might have a vitamin D deficiency. And sure enough, they tested it, and my level was 20 nanograms per milliliter, which is considered quite deficient. A recommended level from our scientist panel is between 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter. There really are two primary sources of vitamin D. Our bodies were meant to get it from the sun. That's, that's how the human was constructed. Uh, so anything that produces UVB, ultraviolet B light, to go to the skin, and certainly the sunshine is it, uh, some kind of use of tanning. The second source is primarily some kind of supplements. It is not adequately in any foods for almost anybody. Uh, we do have fortified milk and orange juice. Uh, you get a little bit in fish, but you can't eat five servings of fish a day. The research has been talking about vitamin D and its relationship to cancer for at least 30 years when Dr. Cedric Garland published his first paper about colon cancer and vitamin D in 1980. That's 30 years ago, or make it 29 if you like to be precise. In 1941, Frank Apperly published a paper on latitudinal differences in colon cancer. So we've known about this for a very long time. It all says that the higher the serum level, or the higher, not higher without limit, but within a reasonable level, uh, the 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter, we have a lowered incidence of all of those cancers. Those cancer survivors, uh, absolutely step number one is go get your vitamin D level tested. And whether it's through us, through our D-Action project, or through your medical practitioner, and absolutely do not take no for an answer about having the test done. I mean, if, if someone says, oh, you don't need it, say, oh, yes, I do. By testing them, uh, it depends on where you live. If uh, I understand if you are in Canada, you can get these tests done for free and obviously take advantage of that. Ask your doctor for it. Uh, it is wise to have it done twice a year. If you would like to participate in our research project, it's a very simple website. It's called www.ordervitamindtest.org. It does cost money uh, because we are funded by grassroots health or grassroots efforts, um, but it costs only $40 a test, and we will be doing that twice a year for all of the participants. So it's really very easy. Extremely. Uh, and I think, again, we recommend you have it tested twice a year uh, because your vitamin D level varies with the seasons. Uh, it varies with where you go physically. I mean, if you're in Canada, you're going to get considerably less than if you end up in San Diego, where I live, or southern places. Uh, and it matters to your body. Um, the way you can get enough vitamin D to be healthy is to get adequate or more, probably sunshine or tanning and or supplements, but have it tested and go from there. The Action is a consortium of scientists, some of 30 of the nation's best known and most proficient writers on vitamin D have joined this group uh, that I have pulled together to do something about it. I mean, it's a do group, and the do message is we've actually created a study, a five-year program, where we are offering people the opportunity to be tested twice a year, participate in the study, provide a little health information to document 
to me, sort of once and for all, here's what it really does for the mass population. Baggerly is the lady sitting here in front of you telling her, telling you that her biggest passion in life is to save the world by everybody having enough vitamin D. I have a husband that I dearly love. I have five beautiful children. Um, I have lived my life very blessedly with many beautiful things happening. Uh, I am a, a business owner, manager, entrepreneur, as it were. And when I got hit with breast cancer and the treatment for breast cancer, quite honestly, it said something's got to be done. I hated it, the, te the treatment. The breast cancer was bad enough, but the treatment to me is barbaric. And so I truly have dedicated my life, my resources, 60, 100 hours a week. It doesn't matter. It's like something's got to be done to save people from this totally unnecessary disease. All right, if you've ordered a vitamin D test, what you will get in the mail is a very simple little package like this. Inside the package is a set of instructions, which everybody needs to have. It tells you what to do. And inside the kit are two lancets. These are lancets, and you take one of them, and you probably don't need to, and you pull really hard to get it off, and it's spring-loaded, and what you do is you press it against your finger, and you press until it clicks. And when it clicks, you will notice that it has punctured a small hole in your finger. You then probably take this blood spot card, which is a very small little card. You open it up, and there are two little spots right here. And you're going to drop your blood onto those two spots. You're going to let it dry. And while you're letting it dry, you'll take a Band-Aid, wrap it around your finger, and a few minutes later, you close this up. And on the back, it needs to have your name and the date of collection, and you will mail it back to us. And very shortly thereafter, you'll get your results and see what you need to do to get your vitamin D level up. I would suggest that they start with our website, which is grassrootshealth.org, um, partly because just the generic information there about the study and all of that is there, but we also have just released a whole new video series done by six of really great researchers, and you can pick a topic. Robert Haney did one on what's a vitamin D deficiency. There's something on cardiovascular disease, on diabetes, on autoimmune disorders. So you can pick it topically, and you can watch it in the privacy of your own home, your own office, or with another group. All right. I would truly encourage anyone and everyone who's interested in the state of health of the world to join D Action today. All you need to do is log on to www.ordervitamindtest.org and follow the instructions.